Aloha everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel and to our Hawaiian record excursion. Extravaganza, whatever. Uh, we are on the letter C, so let's pick up where we left off, going through my Hawaiian record collection. See what vinyl there is today. Uh, this one is Joanne Castle Hawaiian Ragtime on Deca record, Dot Records. Uh, some of you may remember her as being uh, featured on the Lawrence Welk Show regularly. And this is, again, a honky-tonk piano Hawaiian album, uh, kind of full of the standard tunes. Now this one is on MGM Records. 21 channel sound, tempos of Tahiti, including music from Mutiny on the Bounty by the Catamaran Serenaders. Kind of an interesting record. Love the artwork on it. Not much information on the back. However, uh, he is not listed here, but the Catamaran Serenaders, the steel guitarist, is Roy Smack, very identifiably. Roy Smack, and he actually wrote a couple of the songs on here, Paradise Moon, uh, what's the other one, maybe Steel, Steel Guitar Hop, yeah, so, and he is credited as the songwriter on those, so, <coughs> a lost Roy Smack, whatever. And it, you know, if you're familiar with Roy Smack, it's you. It may you may or may not like it. I like it a little bit. Goes a long way though. It's very comedy. Sounds like something out of a cartoon kind of steel guitar playing. Really exaggerated. Here's one. Uh, again, we have a Lawrence Welk connection. Uh, a lot of Lawrence Welk connection today. George Cates Polynesian Percussion on Dot Records. Uh, yeah, kind of the standard, again, standard songs, but sort of exotic arrangements. They even, you know, list the percussion instruments used. So this is definitely like a th referencing Martin Denny and Arthur Lyman and all the exotic albums. It says here one of the so female soloists used where they have ooing and aahing and whatnot is Norma Zimmer, also of Lawrence Welk fame. And then we have uh, by Ranwood. It's the same album reissued, although abridged. They left a couple of tracks off, which they often did when they would reissue it. I don't really know why, but... Uh, and this time they just call it Hawaii by George Cates. But it's the same album without... Uh, jungle Fantasy or Call of the Jungle or something and one other song. Anyway. Okay, now we're up to a group that I just need to preface by. A very uh, profound group in terms of vinyl output in, uh, in Hawaii. It is a Hawaiian group, the Brothers Casimero. Uh, they came out of, uh, in the 70s, was a group called Sunday Manoa, and uh, they did three or four albums, very, very popular. And then that group, which had some level of rotating membership, actually split up. And two of the acts that came out of that became very, very, very famous on their own. A Peter Moon band, which has many, many albums when we get to the letter M. We'll talk about him. And then under the letter C, the brothers Casimero. Uh, they are in fact brothers, Robert and Roland. And uh, they both sing and uh, one plays bass and one plays guitar and somebody plays piano too. Uh, this is their first album. I think this was I have the exact date on it, but we're talking like 77, 78, something or earlier, somewhere around in there. Uh, now, the Brothers Casimiro, if you're not familiar with them, uh, <laughs> what do you say? Uh, volume 2. Amazing voices. I mean, absolutely amazing voices. Amazing arrangements. Uh, I would say... Maybe a good adjective is lofty, right? They were, it's sort of like Hawaiian music as an art form. I mean, they sort of elevate, I don't 
don't know. I don't want to get in trouble for saying something bad because it's not bad. I mean, it's just like it's it's an elevated form of Hawaiian music that's just very beautiful and very tasteful and uh, I don't know. Uh, the Brothers Casimiro in concert. This one is 1979, I think. 77, 1977. These are kind of cool, the Music of Polynesia labels. Everything they did was either Music of Polynesia or Apple, Mountain Apple Company labels. Um, but their impact on Hawaiian music was just huge. I mean, absolutely huge. Oh, a la the Brothers Casimiro. This one, 1980, 19, uh, 1978. <laughs> this is a gatefold. Uh, Roland also had a hula halau, or a, like a hula school. They competed at the Merry Monarch Festival and performed and were very, very well known. Um, yeah, I, it's hard to know what to say, but their impact was really profound, uh, and they were known. They are still around. I mean, it's 2017 as I'm filming this, and I'm showing you what their vinyl records are, but they continued on into the CD era, and even today, they're still putting out a CD every so often. Uh, they did do some solo stuff. This was a solo album. Roland Casimiro presents his music for Pele, a myth from Hawaii. Some of it is contemporary sounding. You don't hear any steel guitar on any Casimiro's albums. They just don't go that way. Well, they don't play it, so it's actually them performing. Robert Casimiro's solo album. This is 1978. If you haven't heard any of their music, you really need to uh, check it out. There's not super a lot of it up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to put some more up on my Hawaiian Leisure Hour, see what's not up there, and put some things up. <clears throat> I already have put a few things up, but... Uh, yeah, because they're just kind of in a league by themselves, I think, when it comes to Hawaiian music. I am going to stop there. There's more Casimiro's records, because they just did a ton. But we're going to stop there for today and listen to some samples, and let me know what you think. In my mind I hold 
a very cherished thought of a time when I was given a very special gift. When a friend decided to call on the telephone. Simply to inform me that this friend was having a difficult time falling asleep. All kinds of strange feelings, like butterflies in the stomach, making it turn almost upside down. Because I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed those samples. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this kind of music, check out uh, Hawaiian Leisure Hour. It's my other YouTube channel where I have just musical selections uploaded to play. Uh, you can search for individual songs or artists. It's also set up as a playlist. You could just like do shuffle and it will just play for hours and hours. I do that myself sometimes. All right. Have a good week and we will talk to you next time.